Hello friends, today we will build a simple app using Android Studio. In which, we will create two activities. In first activity, we will create a button, through which we will be making a transition to the second activity. And in second activity, on pressing another button, we will return to the first activity. Let us begin. First, we will need to launch Android Studio. As you can see, Android Studio has been launched where we need to start a new Android Studio project. We will click on the first option. Here we will select Empty Activity, and click Next. Now we will give name to our application. The package name is below this. We can give package name as per our choice. Then mention your application name after the dot and then configure save location. We will choose language as Java and select minimum API. Now Android Studio is opened. Here you will notice folders on the left. Here you will find app, lib, resources and main activity.java. Now it is open. You will see activity underscore main, XML which is for user interface, which means how our app will appear on screen. Alongside there is main activity.java. In the middle, a hello world text is written, which we will delete. We will open the XML, select the text view and delete its entire contents. As soon as the text view is deleted, you will see, the hello world is deleted from the design. Now in main activity, we will create a variable, which will be of type button. On creation, it will be in red, since we have not imported the required class. Now as soon as we press Alt plus Enter, the class is imported. We will initialize the variable button by writing button equals find view by idr.id. The id should be same as the id assigned in the XML file which we have not yet assigned. Let us write here button 1. Now in the design, we will drag and drop a button from the palette. We can assign the button ID either in design view or in the XML. Let us assign the ID of the button in XML. We will match the ID as button 1 to match it with the Java code. Now, we have to define a text for our button. Let us write here page 2, since we want to make a transition to another activity. Below this, we will now write the code for the button. Button dot set on click listener new view dot on click listener. This defines the process when we will click on the button. Let us define a new function and name it activity2. We will write the code for this function outside the onCreate method. Here, we will pass the intent. We will write intent intent equals new intent this and new activity. This means this present activity which is source and the second parameter is new activity that is for the destination. Then we will write start activity intent. We have to now create new activity. For this we will right click on the main activity dot Java and select empty activity. We will give name for the activity as new activity as we defined while passing the intent. Now you can see, two activities has been created. Now we need to write Java code for the second activity. We copy the XML for button from activity underscore main dot XML and paste it in the activity underscore new dot XML. Let us assign the ID for this button as button 2. In the Java code of new activity, we will write the code exactly as we have written for main activity. We may change the variable name as button 2. Also, we will initialize the button with id button 2. We will also create the listener for button 2 in the same manner. Inside the listener, we will call another function activity 1. Now we have to define activity 1. Here again we need to pass an intent. We will change the second parameter of intent as main activity. Our entire process is completed. Let us run the program. I have mirrored my phone screen. As you can see below, the app is getting installed. The app is also launched. In the app, a button is visible on the screen. As soon as the button is clicked, second activity is opened. 
In the second activity also we have created a button. On clicking this button, we are returned to the first activity. I hope that you may have liked this video and learned something from it. If you want some more information, please comment and subscribe our channel. Thank you.